A level chemistry quick test video on formulae and equations. So for this video I've gone for a couple of empirical formula questions. So here's the first one. If you want to pause the video, have a go at that and play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so pretty standard empirical formula question. We've got to work out the molecular formula as well. So first thing we do is work out the percentage of oxygen, 100 minus 56.4. Work out the moles of each atom now, so it's percentage over MR, effectively mass over MR. So we get 1.819 moles of P and 2.725 moles of O. We then um, work out the mole ratio by dividing by the smallest. So we get a 1.5 1, a 1 ratio. We can't round that 1.5 up to 2. You can only do that if it's kind of very, very close or so within 0.1 effectively. So we'll multiply out. So we get an empirical formula of 2 to 3. So it's P2O3 empirical formula. So to get that to the molecular formula, we work out the mass, the formula mass of that, which is 110, and compare the molecular mass with that. So 220 over 110 is 2. So obviously the uh, molecular formula is double the empirical P4O6. Okay, so here's the second one. If you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So, very different style of empirical formula question here. So the first thing I'm going to do is construct an equation, or a sort of type of equation, for the reaction that's taking place. So I've come up with that. The question marks there, obviously we don't know the, the number of carbons, hydrogens and oxygens in X. So what can we do? We can work out the moles of a few things. So the first thing I'm going to calculate the moles of is X. So we've got the mass and the MR of that. So 0 0.005 moles of X were combusted. We can then work out the moles of CO2 that were formed. Mass over MR again, 0 0.025. So we can see there's a 1 to 5 ratio there of X to CO2. So therefore, X must have five carbons. We'll do the same with the water now. So the moles of water formed is also 0 0.025. So to, for one mole of X to create five moles of water, it's got to have 10 hydrogens, because each water has two H's. So we now know that it's C5, H10, O unknown. So if we work out the MR of the five carbons and the 10 hydrogens, we get 70. So to get up to 86, we need to have one oxygen. So the molecular formula is C5H10O, and you can't simplify that, so the empirical formula is the same. 